Born in South Africa in 1971, world's richest man and owner of numerous tech businesses, was listed in 2008 as one of the forum's young global leaders. Elon's grandfather, Dr. Joshua Haldeman, was a doctor, politician, and explorer. Like his mom, he was a chiropractor. Also interested in politics, Joshua was chairman for the Social Credit Party during World War II. Joshua Haldeman. Haldeman was a member of an organization called Technocracy Incorporated. This organization was made up of scientists who believed that all politicians and businessmen needed to be outcasted from the world, deplatformed from their place in society and replaced with engineers and other experts who would then create a technocratic utopia. There would be no more nation states, no more money and no more leaders, just the technocracy. Social change is due on this continent. Social change is coming whether you like it or not. Social change is coming whether you are prepared for it or not. And technocracy is the means by which you can prepare yourself so that you can decide whether you want science or chaos. Musk's grandfather was even charged under the National Defense Act because this radical group was banned from the country. Now, a technocratic one world government isn't something Elon Musk speaks about. On the subject of Mars, it's a different story. In 1948, Werner von Braun wrote a novel called Project Mars. The Martian government was directed by 10 men, the leader of whom was entitled Elon. In the not so distant future, similar algorithms might tell us where to work and whom to marry. And if you ask why, you will not give in alone. The answer will always be the same. Because the computer says no. The, the merge scenario with AI is, like, if you, if you can't beat it, join it. Join it.